Jagayan Philippines November 7 2024 This was 7 days ago Oh my god the wind the wind is crazy Typhoon Marcha, international name Yinxin, is moving west-northwest over the waters of Chagayan while maintaining its peak intensity. The State Weather Bureau said in its report on Thursday morning. I, I'm here in Makati. I don't... it didn't hit like that. Yeah, it did not hit like that. The Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, or PEGASA, in its 5 a.m. bulletin today, November 7, said that Marcha Peking maximum sustained winds of 155 km per hour, or kph, and gustiness of 190 kph was last in 200 kilometers east of Apari, Chagaya. Wow, that's, 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 that's too much. According to Philippine weather expert, in terms of intensity, the storm will remain strong or still be a typhoon. Currently, the storm is at its peak intensity of around 155 kph. The storm will weaken slightly as it moves over the northern tip of the Luzon mainland and eventually after exiting the Philippine Area of Responsibility or PAR, it will further weaken into a severe tropical storm. It also noted that weather satellite data showed a wide typhoon radius spanning about 900 to 1,000 km in diameter, meaning that typhoon marches impacts could be felt in other parts of Luzon, such as Aurora province. Imagine if you're taking your uh, holiday in somewhere in the resort and it happened. This is a little bit scary, actually. <laughs> In light of the development, the Philippine Astronomical Society, or PAGASA, raised the Tropical Cyclone Wind Signal, or TCWS, number 4. Uh, it doesn't look like um, as bad as it looks, I feel like. Four status in areas such as the northern part of Chagaya, mainland, such as Gonzaga, Santa Ana, Santa Teresita, Lalo, Bugue, Apari, Chamala. I mean, it can get worse. Nugan, Gataran, Balesteros, Alachapan, Abulu, Pamplona, Sanchez Mira, including Babuyan Islands. The northeastern part of Apayao or Santa Marcela areas under TCWS No. 4 are likely to experience winds of 118 kph to 184 kph within 12 of hours. These places could experience... Uh, that that's goes to tell you that um, you do some researches before you choose the place where you stay in. Yeah? Heavy rains and winds of 39 to 61 kph 
within 36 hours. The latest development in March have also prompted the Philippine Astronomical Observatory or PAGASA to issue a typhoon warning for the coast of northern Luzon and central Luzon. PAGASA said typhoon March is expected to continue moving west, northwestward over the waters east of Chagayan for the next 12 hours and then change its course to a westerly track starting Thursday afternoon until Saturday, November 9. Based on the projected track, Marcha will make landfall and cross the Babuyan Island or the northern mainland areas of Chagayan, Ilocos Norte, and Apayao are passed very close to these areas starting this afternoon, November 7, until tomorrow, November 8, early morning. was driving too close to the to the water significant to severe impacts due to typhoon winds are possible in any area under wind signal number 4 moderate to significant impacts due to strong winds are possible in any area under wind signal number 3 minor to moderate impacts due to strong winds are possible in any area under wind signal number two and minimal to minor impacts due to strong winds are possible in any area under wind signal number three one. Surprise how, how the gloss did not broke down. I guess I said the northeasterly wind flow and the periphery of Marcho will also bring strong to hurricane force winds to the following areas, especially in coastal areas and upland areas exposed to the wind, Zambales, Bataan, and Polilo Islands. The guy is driving the tricycle is like nothing going on. That's amazing. While the Weather Bureau said there is a high risk of life-threatening storm surge with wave heights exceeding 3.0 meter above normal high tide levels in the next 48 hours in low-lying or exposed coastal areas in Batanes, Jagayan including Babuyan Islands, Isabela, Ilocos Norte, Ilocos Sur, and La Union. The tree has just fallen down. What? The, wow. It's crazy. 